Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be talking about PHMB gauze for skin folds and contractors. But first, if you could hit that like and subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it truly does help my channel grow. So let's get started. So the PHMB gauze is an antimicrobial gauze dressing impregnated with 0.2% PHMB. So it attracts the bacteria into the dressing where it is then killed. So it is effective against gram positive and gram negative bacteria. So that's your MRSA, VRE, Pseudomonas, um, fungus and yeast. The woven gauze, um, it does act like an open cell matrix which wicks the moisture. Um, that's why it is really good for skin folds and contractors. Um, and it can stay in place for up to three days. So indications for use. So we're going to use this as prevention and treatment of intertrigo. Intertrigo is when the skin touches, creating a moist and friction um, that does cause a redness. Um, it can also cause itching, burning, odor, or maceration. Um, and we also use this for prevention of skin breakdown, odor management of hands and fingers, toes, uh, due to contractors. There are no precautions listed by the manufacturer, but contraindications. So we're not going to be using this in patients who do have a sensitivity or allergy to PHMB. We're not going to be using this with a Dakin solution or bleach solutions as these will deactivate the PHMB. And don't use with any ointments, creams, powders, sprays, um, because they do create a barrier and this prevents um, the drawing, how it draws uh, the bacteria into it. So we want to make sure that we can have that drying effect to kill the bacteria. Um, so we don't want to be using anything on the skin beforehand. So to prepare the skin first, we want to cleanse or irrigate the tissue with normal saline or uh, just sterile water. And then we're going to dry the peri wounds. So if we're using it in skin folds and there are no wounds um, as of yet, and we're using it more as a prevention, just make sure um, that you do cleanse it and dry it very well. Now to apply, so we're going to make sure we either cut it um, or cut the roll just to make sure that everything is covered. So we don't just want to be covering the, um, say, it, say a skin fold, the complete base of it. We wanna make sure that the whole skin fold, all the tissue in that area where it folds over is covered, okay? Um, so we're, um, we're going to smooth it over to minimize um, any contact skin to skin. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to lay the skin fold down and secure it into place, okay? So just make sure that it is secured, use a little bit of tape, um, and it no skin, no, no skin should be, it shouldn't be skin on skin. It should have this contact layer in between. Um, that's what we're using it for. So we're going to be removing this gauze daily and replacing it. So um, when you go to replace it, just make sure you're once again cleaning the area, making sure it's very dry. The expected outcome, um, if we have dermatitis, open skin, it's resolved within two weeks. If you just have reddened skin, it should be resolved within 24 to 48 hours. Now, the frequency of dressing change, once again, it is once a day, um, unless it does get soiled with urine, feces, or um, excessive sweat. So when you have somebody with contractors, so um, first you're going to say they have it on the hand, okay? You're gonna make sure the hand is nice and clean, and then you're going to dry it very, very well. Um, now I am going to show a demonstration here because um, it is a little bit harder to grasp this without seeing it. So you're going to take a face cloth. So I have my face cloth here and you're going to wrap your um, PHMB gauze around it once. Okay. And then you're going to have their hand hold that. 
Okay, so they're holding that so it's not squished together. And then you're going to go in between each finger, okay, and around, okay. And I will show it to you after here. Okay, so see how we have it in between each of the fingers, okay? So then that's gonna have the moisture. And then you're just gonna go back around. Okay, so we have something touching all parts. Okay. And their hand will be clenched down over this. Okay. So same goes with the contractors, um, remove it daily, cleanse the hand, um, and then just assess for any skin conditions while you're there and make sure you make sure it's really dry um, before applying. Um, no skin, the expected outcome is that there's no uh, skin breakdown or odor and frequency of dressing change is daily or if it does get soiled or if the hand is sweating. I have added all the different um, types of sponges, spacers, um, all of the different formats of gauze. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you did find it um, helpful in your daily practice. And if you haven't done so already, if you could please hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated. I'll catch you guys in my next video. See ya.